Got nice. him. It took six seasons in Major League Baseball with the San Francisco Giants before Kevin Correa put on his hometown jersey and took the mound at Petco Park as a Padre. He go. I had pitched there in the past, obviously, but it wasn't for the Padres. And growing up rooting for a team, you know, it's kind of hard to pitch against them in a division and you can't really root for them. So, you know, to put on the uniform and actually try to help the team win, it, it's something I've been looking forward to do since, you know, I, I knew I wanted to play baseball. Out on strikes. Rhea began this season as the number four starter, but by mid-June, four of the five starting pitchers from the Padres opening roster were on the disabled list and Correa rose to the top. Nice. The rotation looks a lot different than what we thought it would be, but it's helped me take on a role of more of a leadership role, and I think it's helped my pitching, knowing that you have to go out there and you got to be the guy that's going to be kind of the foundation for now, you know, until these, some of these guys get healthy. And, you know, you're the guy that needs to kind of right the ship if things aren't going well the last few games, and I think that's helped me progress a lot. In the past, I've always kind of been the back-of-the-end guy with the Giants or when I got here, but, you know, I, now I feel like I can pitch with some of these guys that are one number one and number two starters. Let's start with Kevin Correa. Excellent effort by Kevin Correa in the heat. Ace or not, Kevin Correa is out there getting it done. He's, he's not standing. standing. Just because he's a confident ace now doesn't mean his demeanor has changed one bit from his SoCal upbringing. Just ask his agent, Chris Springfield. He's a very free-flowing guy. He can get rattled sometimes, and you'll see it on the field, but I, I love it. I love when he shows emotion. And, uh, but he tries to keep that to a minimum. He's, he's a very even keeled. It's, it's been great for, uh, for me growing up with just seeing how he handles things. He's able, to, he's able to handle pressure like very few can. Springfield knows Correa not only as his agent, the two have known each other since they were kids. We played baseball together. His dad was our coach when we were, you know, 13 years old. I remember the first game I ever met him. It was at our first game. He, showed, he never went to practice when we were little. He uh, struck out three or four times and he wanted to quit. And then I, my dad had a talk with him and said, hey, no, come back. So since that day, we became real close and uh, he became really good. And so we were just tight. We were surfing a lot. Then we started surfing and we'd come down here almost every day. You know, once he, he, he got his license before me, we'd be down here every morning when the sun came up. Lived out in East County. We'd get up at 4.30 in the morning, trek about a mile and a half to the trolley, take the trolley to a bus stop, drive the bus out here, get out here by 6.30, you know, two-hour trek. And we learned a lot about each other just growing up. Once we got to college, he went off and, you know, did his thing, got a law degree, and he's one of the smartest people I knew. And, you know, I was kind of at a point with um, baseball where if you're going to have an agent, why not have it be someone you trust, one of your best friends, and one of the smartest people you know. So the timing worked out really well. Correa may be Springfield's first major league client, but he learned under one of the best, top baseball agent Barry Axelrod. Coming in under Barry, it was a real eye-opening experience on how to talk to people, who in the business to get to know. Uh, and being local, it's just been awesome. And then, you know, having Kevin involved, he's mentored me through this process. He's helped us on some things, and he's continuing help to help us. So it's been a great relationship. From surfing to the business of baseball, Correa and Springfield have made names for each other, ones like their friendship that are here to stay.